This road test is proudly brought to you by Australian Caravan and RV magazine. I don't know, Hank. The guys downstairs still haven't identified it yet. Looks like Lego. Maybe it's the Danish crew. This is one small step for man, one giant leap for camper trailers. Is it part lunar module, part Ikea, or part Tonka? Well, it's all of these, but it's none of these. What it is, is 100% hardcore off-road camper trailer. This is the Track T-Van Tanami. If this camper trailer didn't work, you could simply dismiss it as a case of form over function. The designers probably got the better of the engineers. But oh boy, that's so far from the truth in this case. We've already taken it on over 7,000 kilometres of Australia's most gruelling four-wheel drive tracks. And it's not so much that nothing's gone wrong with the camper trailer, but it's that everything has gone oh so right. It absolutely glides. Now who doesn't want a quick camp set up? There's three ways you can set this baby up, and I'll show you the quickest. Takes less than 30 seconds. Whip down the zips. And hey presto folks, there is your palace, free from the insects. But while that super fast setup is great for couples on those quick overnight stays, if you've got some kids or you're staying for a few days, you're gonna want some more opulent accommodation. Allow me to take you on a cook's tour of the outside of the Track Trailers T-Van. Up front we've got an AT35 hitch, swivels every which way, so perfect over that rugged off-road terrain. I love this next thing, the jockey wheel. Why? Well, it's solid rubber, folks, so you're not going to get a flat tyre off-road. And believe me, there's nothing worse than a flat tyre when you're trying to drag a trailer around the sand. Over here we've got these fantastic stone deflectors. Now, I've never seen a tougher stone deflector on the market. It's fantastic. Under our spare tyre, they've used every little bit of space. We've got two four kilo gas bottles, as well as your battery. No matter where you go, but particularly in the desert, storage of fluids like water and diesel and petrol are always hard to come by. The Track T-Van has room for five jerry cans, so there's a comfortable 100 litres of storage space for those big fluids. But check out around the corner here, folks. You're gonna love this. Under these little latches, that just flick up like so, we have a very nifty, not so small kitchen. So plenty of workspace there, and flick it out once more. And even the kitchen sink. Now, this has actually got an electric water pump, and that sucks water out of a tank underneath the camper trailer. But you don't always want to pull out the full kitchen. When you're on the road, often you just want to wash your hands quickly after pack up. So, if that's the case, you flick out the little hand pump at the back, too easy. There's another storage hatch on the off side of the camper trailer for storing things like electrical leads, chocks, hoses, whatever you like. But check out what's underneath this baby. The suspension on the track trailers was born out of a military contract. These guys were asked to build the toughest military trailer with suspension that was previously unheard of up until their design. So they engineered it to the nth degree and they came up with a rough, tough trailer for the army. Now what does that mean for you, the end user? Well, basically it means that these tyres are connected to the ground more often because you've got massive suspension travel. Normally with an off-road camper trailer, the wheels will only travel so far. They'll shake up and down and you'll get wheels popping off the ground all the time and you'll end up with smashed eggs and all that sort of stuff. With this sort of suspension travel, your tyres can travel much, much further, meaning that they are connected to the ground and your suspension is able to do its job. So you trailer doesn't bounce all over the place. So with suspension like this folks, not to mention all the other features, I reckon you can take this T-Van to the moon and back again. Coming up after the break, the desert throws up even more surprises. Plus we look at how to prepare your Forby and your family for a desert adventure. <laughs> 